Welcome back. Impeachment officially moved to the Senate. Chief Justice John Roberts swearing in members of the Senate yesterday, marking the official beginning of the impeachment trial of President Trump. Joining me right now is Tennessee Senator, member of the Senate Judiciary Committee, Marsha Blackburn. And Senator, good to see you this morning. Thanks very much for being here. Good morning. You yes. have publicly called for the four senators who are running for president. They are presidential candidates to actually recuse themselves from this trial. Uh, from the Senate trial because they have a political interest in seeing this president removed from office. Explain. Yes, I think that there is a good precedent. It goes back to the 1868 trial of Andrew Johnson, who was a Tennessean, and calling for recusal from someone who would benefit. And when you look at the fact that these four candidates are spending hundreds of hours and millions of dollars to defeat Donald Trump, and they take an oath to provide impartial justice, I think that is a difficult standard for them to meet. And I have recommended that this would be a good thing for them to step aside from the trial. I mean, this is, I mean, you can't write this. This is absolutely extraordinary that you have these senators yes. running to take President Trump's job. They're running for president. And yet they're supposed to be considered jurists and, and, and independent minded uh, people to, to judge whether or not the president did anything That's wrong. That's exactly right. And bear in mind what they're going to be doing, their day job, will be to sit as a juror. And then in their afternoons and evenings, their free time, they are going to be running for president. And Maria, I bet you that they are out there in Iowa this weekend. They got sworn in yesterday to be a juror, to provide impartial justice. And they're going to be campaigning against him this weekend in Iowa. So uh, was there any response from any of them? I mean, it's, it's pretty obvious what you're saying is true. They're not an independent uh, factor here. They want right. to take the president down. And yet, I mean, it, it just feels like the whole thing, whether it's the, the, the situation in the House as Adam Schiff, you know, began that by reading something that was made up. It wasn't even the actual yes. transcript of the call or the right. rules being changed as you went along. And now you have the Senate trial with four kids candidate for president sitting there. <laughs> That's exactly right. And others in the room who did run and have now suspended their campaigns. But bear in mind, this has been a partisan impeachment from the get-go. Mm -hmm. They were going to get him on something. They said they were going to impeach him. Nancy Pelosi is fulfilling a commitment that she made, and they are going to continue along this partisan line. The thing that concerns me is the damage that this is doing to the office of the presidency, to the institution, and to the country as a whole. Well, it's, that's right. I mean, the, the country as a whole is an important point because for two, three years, you know, we watched the, the country be up in arms uh, over this uh, collusion between Russia mm -hmm. and, and President Trump, or then candidate Trump. And now we know that that was, we, we know officially that was complete nonsense. The IG report tells us that. We've got a criminal investigation by John Durham digging deeper into that. Is, is that right. part of this, that they do not want the critics of President Trump to, to, to face accountability for trying to frame him? Well, and I think we have to bear in mind that what they've done is to say anything that they, the Democrats, do is fine. Anything that President Obama did, that was fine, because to them, their means justifies their ends. Yeah. Their ends is about power and control. They cannot bear it that Donald Trump has been successful in three trade agreements. The economy is booming. People are making money. They yeah. got Christmas bonuses and raises. And now with the China deal, the USMCA, people beginning to look at what we will do with the UK and the EU. I have to tell you, my auto manufacturers, my farmers, producers, they're mighty happy campers, and they're very pleased with Donald Trump. They want to see four more years right. with President Donald Trump. Well, as she was signing the, the impeachment articles, the USMCA trade agreement yeah. passed the Senate yesterday. The president right. was signing the China deal, USMCA replacing NAFTA. Tariff-free trade will continue in North America, bringing changes to the auto industry, trade among the U.S., Mexico, and Canada. This is a rare moment 
moment of bipartisan cooperation against the impeachment backdrop where most people agree USMCA is progress for the U.S. economy and will lead to growth. They do. And when I talk to those that are in the auto manufacturing industry here in Tennessee, and when I talk to those that are in trucking and logistics, they are thrilled with this, especially those truckers that run the long routes. And they look at the opportunity to run those long routes going from Mexico to Canada yeah. and the increased wages that that is going to mean for them. So uh, logistics and that transportation Support segment. They are very happy with this. And also, the intellectual property protections for our innovators. That is something both in China yep. and in USMCA. So, substantial Senator, steps forward. Real quick, next week the trial will begin on Tuesday. Uh, map it yes. out for us. How, how many hours will that go on Tuesday? What are you expecting? Do you think we're going to see witnesses or no? I think that on Tuesday we will begin the process of going through the resolution. We'll be in the chamber for several hours. We're going to hear first from the House managers, then from the President's managers. That will be later in the week. We will be submitting questions to the Chief Justice who will ask those questions. And quite frankly, I think after a couple of weeks, we will be ready to proceed to a vote, whether there is guilt or there is an acquittal. And quite frankly, I don't think you're going to see the witnesses. I'm not for witnesses. I think the American people, I know Tennesseans are ready to get this over with. They feel like that this is drug on for three years. They've been hearing this tale of we're going to impeach him, and they're saying we are done with this story. Get on with the nation's business. Senator, it's good to have you. We'll be watching, certainly. Good to be with you. Thank you. An important week ahead. Senator Marsha Blackburn,